Right, hello, all of year nine. Um, let's have a little bit of a go at this and uh, hopefully you've already um, printed this off or if not done it in your book or something, if you've just done the answers, as long as you can mark it and you can work out where, you know, what you've written as your answer, then that's absolutely fine, even if it's on the back of a uh, receipt or something, as long as you've got it all there, all right? So this is purely to help you out, make sure you're happy with stuff, work out where you're not happy and then basically help you get the best score in the uh, end of half term quiz that will be a share my homework quiz and um, that you should be doing after you've gone through this. All right. OK, so expand and I've uh, given myself a tiny little bit of room here, but expand means to times those out. So four lots of three X is 12 X and four lots of seven is 28. So that's plus 28. And you'll get a mark for that and a mark for that. Two marks. OK. Next one, expand that. A little bit tricky because we've got x involved on the outside as well. So x times x, we should be getting x squared. If you've got 2x, no, I'm afraid not. Um, and then we do minus 5 times the x, or x times minus 5, and we're left with minus 5x. Again, one for that, one for that. This next one, 4 lots of 5x and 4 lots of minus 3 plus 2, and I'm going to underline that just to make sure we know that is a plus 2, times the x and times the 5. 4 lots of 5x is 20x, 4 lots of minus 3 is minus 12, 2 lots of x is 2x, and 2 lots of 5 is 10. Okay, if you um, got one of these wrong, but then simplify it correctly based on this, you'll only lose one mark, okay? So then... And we put the 20x and the 2x together to get 22x. And we'll get the minus 12 and the plus 10 together to get minus 2. Minus 12 plus 10 is minus 2. Okay. The next one, double bracket. It's a bit trickier. You times everything on the left bracket by everything on the right. So that one I'm going to times by both of those. And that one I'm going to times by both of those. And again, if you want to underline... That make, reminds you that is a minus 7 and that is a plus 3. And the x doesn't have anything in front of either of them, so they're both positive. So x times x is x squared. So I'm going to cross that off to remind me I've done it. x times minus 7, minus 7x. 3x, 3 times x is 3x. 3 times minus 7, minus 21. And you can only put these two together. You can't put the x squared together with anything. So you've still got x squared, you've got minus 7 plus 3x, um, which is minus 4x, and the minus 21 also stays as it is. Okay, next one. Uh, 7x minus 35 factorised, I'm going to take, I'm going to divide both of them by 7, they're both in the 7 times table. So I divide both by 7 and I'm left with that. And factorising this, you need um, two numbers that times to make this and add to make this. Now, don't pa this is an extension question, so don't panic if you're really struggling with this, but that's basically what you've got to do. And those two things are um, three and four, that add to make seven, and times to make 12. So I'm gonna write x plus three, and x plus four in the two brackets. Okay, again, extension questions, don't panic if you got it wrong. Right, the last bit of this side, um, compound measures. Three hours into minutes, I'm just going to do three lots of 60, 180, okay? Oh, for all of these, if you make one error, you lose one mark, okay? And obviously you can't get less than zero, so if you make four errors in a three mark question, you're not going to get minus one, you just get zero. Um, 2.1 minutes in seconds, well, 0 0.1 minutes is a tenth of a minute, and a minute is, remember, 60 seconds, so 0 0.1 is six seconds, not 10 seconds. So be careful there, 0 0.1 minutes is six seconds. So two minutes is 120. So you add those two together, get 126 seconds. Uh, convert 30 meters per second, kilometers per hour, right. So let's first of all convert that into, we need to change it from seconds to minutes. Um, well, that you can do, if you can do 30 in a second, then in a minute you can do 60 lots of that. So I'm gonna times that by six and then 10. One eight zero zero, and then that means meters per hour. I would times it by another sixty. So, 
um, times 18 times 6 is 60 plus 40, 108. And I've got two zeros there, and I'm timesing it by another 10, so I'm ending up with that. Okay, you can use a calculator if you want. Um, and then to turn that into kilometers, I need to divide by 1,000, which means it gets rid of those three zeros. So it's 108 kilometers per hour. Okay, that's quite a lot for two marks, but it also means if you've got it wrong, you don't lose so much. So, you know, silver lining and all that. Right, Mary is traveling at an average speed of 10 kilometers per hour for 5.5 hours. Find the distance she covered. Well, it's a distance to speed time. So we're gonna write DST. And then we're gonna fill in what we know. Well, the distance, we don't know, that's what we're after. The speed is 10 kilometers per hour and the time is 5.5. So I do 10 times 5.5, 55. And they've got the units for you, so um, don't panic about that. The volume of an object um, that is 12 centimeters cubed. Um, oh, sorry, the volume of an object is 12 centimeters cubed. Sorry about that, my mistake, but you'll still get the same answer has a mass of six grams, find the density. Right, so we're gonna draw this. Um, M is on the top of uh, density mass volume one, so when I fill it in, I will have 12 in the volume, six in the mass, so I'll do six divided by 12, which is actually 0.5 grams per centimeters cubed. Right, last page. Okay, averages. For the following set of numbers, find the mean. So I'm just gonna add them all up. 12, 20, seven, three, and three. And I'm gonna divide it by one, two, three, four, five numbers. Um, sorry, divide by five. So 12, 32, 39, 42, 45 divided by five, which is nine. Okay, so give yourself a mark if you got that. Find the median. Um, Put them in order first, three, three, seven, 12, oh, 20, then I'll cross that one. And so the middle is seven. And find the range, 20 take, 20 take three, 17. Okay, one mark for each. Now this on my printer came out without the uh, table, so apologies if it's done the same for you, but Take me a second. Do, 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 do. I mean, it's the, I mean, user really, you know, all that shit. Um, right, all that jazz. Uh, right, okay. Now I'm going to times to find the mean, because it's after to find the mean. First thing I do is times all of those. I'm also going to cross out that because I don't want to add anything at the bottom. I need a total here, and I'll need a total here in a minute. Zero times zero is zero. One times one two fives, three threes, four elevens, five fours, six times zero is a zero, not six, go careful there, and seven ones are seven. One, eleven, twenty, sixty-four, eighty-four, and ninety-one. And I'm gonna divide that by one, six, nine, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-five. Now, you're absolutely welcome to use a calculator, but I don't have one on me, so I'm going to double both of those. 182, then I'm going to double that, 364 over 100, then I can easily divide by 100, 3.64. Okay, so that's just a quick method. If you've got something that goes into 100, you can do to help your go if it goes into 10. Find the mode, the one with the biggest frequency. Well, 11 is the biggest frequency, but it's 4 that has it, so the mode is 4. And the range is 7, take away, careful, not 0, because there aren't any of those. That's the smallest, and that's the biggest one that actually has. That's all the numbers that have got something in. So seven take one, which is six. And there you have it, all right? So hopefully that went well. Anything you're not sure about, comment to me so I can help you before you ever go at the quiz. All right, good luck with the quiz, guys, and uh, have, have a great summer. All right, see you later, bye.